Just a quick intro. I'm in uh, I'm in Jerusalem right now, in a bathroom, because my microphone broke and the audio is better. But I came from a town called Dagobayezid. It's in eastern Turkey, a very remote part of eastern Turkey, right up next to the Iranian border. And I wanted to see some of the findings of Ron Wyatt. Uh, the highlight being Noah's Ark. Um, I believe it's Noah's Ark, a lot of people do. A lot of the mainstream evangelical community has rejected this, but you can kind of decide for yourself. I know it, maybe it sounds ridiculous if I post this on YouTube so random people can see it, but just look at the, the research. What's the structure that's sitting on that mountain? It's in the shape of a ship. You can't dispute that it's man-made. Ron, Ron Wyatt scraped away the debris from the outer hull. You can see ribs at regular intervals. He found rivets, metal rivets at regular intervals. He pulled a piece of petrified wood out, carbon dated it. He even talks about the, the way that the joints go together using glues and stuff like that. I can't remember, but it sits in his, the Ron Wyatt Museum today. After the Ark site, I went to a town called Arzon, which is about 50 kilometers away from the Ark site. Translated into English, Arzon means the Valley of Eight. And uh, I wanted to see a couple anchor stones there. Anchor stones, I'll add a picture in, but they're found all over the Mediterranean. It's, it's understood that they create drag and balance for ancient ships that hang from underneath the hull. And there's a couple anchor stones in Arzon that are the biggest in the world. They're five or ten times the size of a normal anchor stone. So I definitely wanted to go see those as well. Um, all I did is buy a plane ticket. I didn't do anything extraordinary here. It's pretty simple, pretty easy, and way, way less expensive than you probably think. And uh, it's right now, Eastern Turkey is safe. Nobody speaks English there, but uh, you can get by just fine. You just, just learn enough uh, or get a translator like I did. Um, Another thing I want to add in is the local people of of Eastern Turkey. Everybody I talk to believes believes that that's Noah's Ark. I didn't talk to anybody that didn't believe it. Of course, Noah's Ark is not just in the Bible; it's also in the Quran, so it's supported by their Muslim religious beliefs. But these people have believed that's Noah's Ark long before Ron Wyatt ever came around. My tour guide, he looks like he's about 50 years old. He said he's been going to the Ark site since he was 15 or 16 years old. Uh, the Ark in that area, at least, is common knowledge. So, just some interesting stuff and uh, lots of stuff to share. I'm in Israel now. I'll be here for a week, so maybe I'll document some stuff here as well.
owns who owns the land up here? Sorry. Who owns the land? Who owns this land? Yeah, is it government? Yeah, and uh, the Indians have one each, but uh, half part of places is from Bangladesh. Treats. Yes. Didn't think about that. <sighs> Somebody works here? So we go down here.
standing at the top of Noah's Ark here. It's a small village that wakes up every day looking at Noah's Ark. Somewhere in here, I think uh, up there, or maybe up there is the Iranian guard tower. We're right on the border with Iran. nobody up here. I need to fly this drone in a way that I get it back so I get the footage because it doesn't record to my phone. <laughs> 